the Betfred Handicap Hurdle is next. This is a 0 to 160. And we've got even more in this. We've got 26 of them. So, God, I don't know what's going on with them. Probably be some small fields later on in the week. I'd think if we got 26 in this one. And we had, we had 20, 21 in the last one. 47 hurdlers in two races. So, two and a half miles this time, 0 to 160. So, quite a lot of them will probably be out of the handicap as well. Ex Adventure at the top, Darren Thompson. Gold Coast, Leon van Rensburg. Sierra Vista, Sooty, and El Centro Token for Vinnie Gerard. On the dark side, Craig Beck with Highland Quest. Martin Leadham, Smokescreen, David Robertson. Try to keep your hat on. Joshua Sutherland, Baby Jane, David Robertson, Extreme Maneuvers, Leon van Rensburg. Hermits Return, Darren Thompson, Pastime Dreamer, Marty Little, Gabrona, John Morgan, Be a Leader, David Hooley, Military Salute, the City Underground, Jim Murray, Crogging Detail, James Shea, Lord North and Clown for Graham Clutterbuck, Big Penny, Craig Beckwith, Absolutely David Hooley, Shambolic, Paul Parsons, Another Stacey Mirasol, James Shea, Archers, Rain, Paul Parsons, Templar Knight, Darren French, and Dollar Bell, Alex Cherry, goodness me, 26 of them, away they go, and most trainers are double handed, so I reckon. There might need to be a new two and a half mile handicap hurdle added this week because that could be the reason why this everybody's got two in because they've got nowhere else to put them. Anyway, absolutely off into the lead as they get to the first of the 12, which they all get over on okay, Although James Shea's horse hit it quite hard. When we hit it was Sierra uh, uh, Vista Sutti is, is um, Vinnie Gerrards, isn't it? So. Anyway, they're all over the second now. And heading to the third. They're all safely over the third. And absolutely is in the lead. Leading by a good five or six lengths. Military salute is in second. Try and keep your hat on. He's third. Then Nova Stacia Mirasol as we lose them behind the trees for a short while. Presumably the race runner went to make himself a good tea at this point and didn't notice that we couldn't see anything. Anyway, he's absolutely in the lead. Is that the end of the trees? Yeah, I think so. Absolutely then leading by five to Noah Stacia Mirasol in second. Then comes Military Salute and try and keep your hat on. Highland Quest is next. We're losing them behind the bosses in the trees now. I definitely think the race runner has gone off and left this race running while he's doing something else. Tut tut. Anyway, it's absolutely in the lead. Oh, part of life's rich tapestry, isn't it? Makes it fun for me. So they get to the next over flight number six. And we appear to have gone to Liverpool now. I didn't realise we'd gone to Liverpool. I thought we were still going to be at Sandown. But anyway, we are at Liverpool. As you can tell, why. Grand National Star Fences and the race runner has returned with his cup of tea in his hand and his biscuit and he's now changed camera angles so it's absolutely in the lead from try and keep your hat on second Nova Stacia Mirasol is third and then Military Salute fourth and comes Highland Quest and Baby Jane after that one. Oh no we lost him behind a screen now oh here we go <laughs> it's absolutely in front Try and keep your hat on second. He's probably dunking his biscuit and his tea while that bit happened. Anyway, it's absolutely in front. You'll probably get on doing all this waffling because I fancy going through 26 runners. That's it. Hard to distinguish, especially considering everybody's got two in this. But it's absolutely who's in the lead. Try and keep your hat on his second. Nova Station, Mirasol and Military Salute are next as they take the seventh. Highland Quest is on the inside. Baby Jane and Croggy in detail. The next smoke screen is quite wide on the trap um, as well as I think it's Crocking Detail the one that's really wide for James Shea looking towards the back clown is the back marker as far as I can tell I don't know where Dollar Bell's gone it says Dollar Bell should be around somewhere that one must be tailed off but it's absolutely you're still in the lead from try and keep your hat on Nova Stacia Mirasol is third Templar Knight going around the outside now and being driven up to challenge 
for second. Then Baby Jane and Military Salute. Highland Quest is still on the rail. Hermit's Return and Shambolic are trying to get into it now. So too is Extreme Maneuvers. That one's making some really good ground on the outside. One or two of these out the back have got absolutely no chance of getting into this. Highland Quest has lost his place as well. But it's absolutely who's in the best place to be, I think, in this race. And that's in the lead. Heading down towards the second last. It's absolutely in the lead. But Extreme Maneuvers is second. Then comes Templar Knight. Baby Jane is after that one, try and keep your hat on Hermit's return, trying to make some grand military salute trying to get back into it, but absolutely it's clear at the second last gets over it well, gets away from it well and still leads by a good three lengths try and keep your hat on, is the main danger in second, then comes Hermit's return Baby Jane is still there, and City Underground is flying on the outside, no slow jump by the leader, and now try and keep your hat on's come through the challenge, and try and keep your hat on's gone on, and suddenly absolutely he's beaten right on the far side, City Underground is powering home, here comes Extreme Manu as well but try and keep your hat on he's hanging on and try and keep your hat on he's going to hang on and take it I think it's close though City Underground on the front side of the angle is very deceptive from this side and the winning post is sort of in front of you on the one side and then it goes back a bit so that's close isn't it they're saying City Underground has won in the race it looked like try and keep your hat on was hanging on but it looks like Jim Murray has got the win he has indeed city underground for jim murray the winner try and keep your hat on for joshua sutherland second extreme maneuvers leon van rensburg third baby jane david robertson fourth and hermit's return for darren thompson was fifth and the majority of those horses never got any sort of run in that race because they were just too far back with those tight turns and i think we probably need a second two and a half mile handicap hurdle in week six